Hello and welcome to this video on how I made my Hornet cosplay. First of all, I'd like to say that I did not intend for this to become a video. I made that cosplay a year ago and I just decided to make a sort of tutorial-esque video. Right, let's do it. To make the mask, I first made the base out of cardboard and made sure it could stay on my head. To get the shape of the horns, I cut them open and inserted some more cardboard. To see that it would fit my head and face, I covered it in normal printing paper and made small holes for the eyes and drew where Hornet's eyes would be. After I was happy with the design, I covered it in paper mache. Now comes the fun but also a little dangerous part. To be able to carve out the shape of the mask, I covered it with expanding foam. Expanding foam usually has a cancerous material in the gas that comes from it as it dries. So use it in a well ventilated area and always use a mask, glasses and gloves. If you get it on your skin, it is pretty dangerous. I let it dry overnight to make sure all the gas was gone. To cut the foam, I used a utility knife to get the basic shape. Then it was time for sanding. I used 60 grit sandpaper for this part of the mask. Always use a mask when sanding. You don't want small pieces of foam in your lungs. After sanding, I realized that I wasn't completely happy with how it turned out. So I sanded and cut some more until I was happy. I also cut out too much of one eye, so I had to glue it back and sand it down. Time for more papier mache. I covered all of the mask, except for the bottom where the head goes in and used a finer sandpaper, like 120 grit, to sand it down where it was needed and then I painted it white. I then glued some black mesh inside for the eyes. After trying it on, it was a little too big for my head. So I glued some foam pieces on for stability. And then the mask was done. For the spear, I 3D modeled the tip and the ring in Blender and printed it out on my Ender 3 Pro with a nozzle width of 0.8 mm. After printing, I glued all the pieces of the head of the spear together and left it for 24 hours to really set. To hold the spear together, I used a flat metal bar. Once the glue had dried, I sanded it, sprayed it with spray primer. I usually spray three layers before more sanding, more spraying, and some more sanding, until I was happy with the result. While I was assembling the other pieces, I noticed that the metal rod rattled inside the PVC pipe and it was really shaky when walking. My fix was to take some EVA foam and cover the bar with it, cut it to make it fit inside the rod and it worked like a sharp. I covered the EVA foam with glue, inserted it into the PVC pipe and glued on the ring part. After letting it dry, it was time for painting. I used a silver spray paint and then added some grey to make it look a little more like metal. I then tied a ribbon to the bottom of the spear and the spear was done. For the cape, I first measured from my shoulder down to just below my knees and then made a half circle with a radius of that length. There's a tutorial in the description on how to sew a band collar. I used that tutorial when I made my collar but I sort of flipped it and sewed it together in the back of the neck instead of the front. I also made the back part higher than in the front to cover more of the back of the mask. And that's it! Well, except for the black bodysuit. Bought that from the internet. Didn't have time to make one. Oh well! <laughs> uh, this cosplay was made in one week. Uh, me and my wife, we uh, bought the game and started playing it and it was one week before Comic-Con Stockholm and we fell in love with it and was like yeah we want to cosplay from this <laughs> uh, but it was a lot of fun and I don't really recommend cosplay crunch but it always happens thank you so much for watching I hope you got inspired to make your own Hornet or find some ideas for other cosplays until next time bye